Pretty favorable matchup against Nelvin here. The 38th seed of the tournament in winner's quarters right now. The run of the tournament. Let's see if Nelvin can keep it going, though. All right. And we're starting PS2 right here. And yeah. I'm going to say this. This is a matchup Jackal is not lacking in experience right there. Yeah. Being yeah. training partners with Tweak himself. And also... Uh, Rivers is also oh, in River. New Jersey, so... Also, Hayes. I'm going to give him <laughs> oh a shout-out. Oh, my God. Shout-out to Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, like, definitely not going to be losing the Diddy matchup check here, but um, let's see if Nelvin can bring something to the table that is unique enough to, uh, to catch Jackal off guard here. All right. I love that F tilt right there. Trying to get a back here on the on the the turn up or yeah. not the turn up the uh, banana peel yeah, slip. Yeah, a bit too much sling right there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's that that is greedy, <laughs> Jackal. All right, but Nelvin's starting off strong despite you know being 35 seeds worse than Jackal right now. That's right. Seeds is just a number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just win. Yeah. Yeah, and Nelvin has been just winning all day, for sure. And Nelvin with a stage position advantage, but Jackal completely getting off the stage with that forward air. All right, what's the last trap? All right, is it just going to be forward air? Forward tilt, I mean. It's it's really good. <laughs> oh, caught him black, and dash attack's going to close it out. Yeah, really nice dash attack there from Jackal. Old reliable at kill percents. Like, once you're at dash attack kill percent for Wolf, it's hard to, it's hard to stay alive. Uh, and Jackal showing exactly why in that situation. The combo's there, forward air into forward air, and now keeping on the pressure but not able to get that forward air. Uh, Nelvin with a forward air out of his own. Yeah, and catching the roll right there. And, yeah, that's another stock right there. So, such an early stock, 77% after the hit on that back air. Yeah. Crazy swing for Jackal. And, like, Nelvin messed up right there, probably around, like, 40. Yeah, exactly. Uh, impressive punish game here from Jackal. This is what I came to know from Jackal. So, so good at on hit as this character Wolf. Yeah, but Nelvin finally taking the first stock. Can he manage to mount a comeback or at least like find answers for game two? Yeah, yeah. At least like try some things out, you know, see, see what works and what doesn't work, you know, get a little bit of his habits, you know, just take a little bit of info. Lose the battle, but maybe win the war yeah. later on. This, this is the scout's information right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see. Um, maybe you can make. Maybe you can make a comeback. He's got him on the ledge right here. Uh, oh. Banana up smash. No, not gonna do it right there. Wolf, yeah. A fast follow, but that one is gonna do it right there. Yeah. One thirty-seven. And we were we were almost counting Nelvin out after that quick stock there from Jackal on the second stock of Nelvin, but he's got him to the last stock. Is that one twenty? It's gonna take a lot, but. Hey, I believe in miracles. Someone has to. <laughs> no. <laughs> so back though right there. Jackal definitely keeping his ground. Just keep pushing him to the ledge. Yeah. I mean, Wolf has an ama amazing options on the ledge, so it's definitely a good choice. Forward throw is not going to do it, but I'm assuming that if he gets anything at the ledge here, it's going to do it. Even across the stage, Dash Tech is going to do it, and we are headed into game two. One out of Jackal. All right. Feels like they're more prone to running back. Yeah, I mean, no one. Does, if, if you, like you said, if no one doesn't have a switch, I don't think he's. He's yeah. thinking he's just playing PS2 yeah, probably. See? Yeah. <laughs> Which honestly doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like a bad choice. Honestly, I don't think the I don't think the the floor plan is going to change very much in this. Uh, in this set, no. Um, I think you just gotta, you just gotta catch Jackal off guard. You just maybe avoid that early stock. If you can avoid dying at 77, that could be huge in your favor here. Uh, it definitely will help, because like, if you once you lose stocks early, it just makes it so much harder. Yeah, and and like like Melvin did live to like 180 yeah. about on that last stock. So if you're living to that percent on all your stocks, you have a chance. Uh, but Jackal is not going to uh, let you get that lightly. He is so, so good at this matchup. Like you said, so many Diddy Kong players in New Jersey and going to get another early stock. 40% here only on Jackal. I think he wants it. He wants top eight real bad. Oh, no, he wants it. Like, if there's anybody that wants it, 
I it's mean, Jackal. I mean, he was one of the er the earliest players signed up on, on this bracket. When uh, when Star GG went live, he was he was the top name. Light and Zombo weren't even signed up, yeah. so he just wanted it. He just loves this tournament series, man. Yeah, it's a great tournament series right here. And all right, Jackal seems like got a read on Melvin's habits. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, maybe Melvin a little bit rusty here. Has it? Hasn't played the game in a while, but you know, done so so good so far today. But maybe this is where the winner's run ends. Jackal playing so well, but down to the up smash. There's hope. Yeah, there is hope, and only 63% now 70. But that's I'm gonna say it's a lot, but it's not undoable right now. Yeah, it's, especially when you're trying to make an upset, coming from behind is so hard. It's so much harder. I feel like when. In comparison to when it's an even matchup or when you're the better player. Yeah. Come on. All right. Jackal trying to get a forward air there. Wasn't quite able to catch the landing, but follows up with a, a grab into down throw, a forward tilt attempt. Nelvin, he's just ch chasing Nelvin from up and down, left and right right now. Can he? Okay. Thought he was going to throw it. And he mixed him up with the monkey clip, which was really smart there from Nelvin. Yeah, no, he's doing a phenomenal job. All right, back throw, not going to do it. Nope, not going to do it. The next one probably will. 174%. We're seeing Nelvin live to a long time on this dock. We said that might be a way that Nelvin can get an advantage in this in this matchup. And, you know, he's able to find a stock here. Forward throw, maybe an edge guard situation. Let's see. All right, I'm tilt not going to do it. Oh, so and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to trust Jackal just knowing his punish. Yeah, not going to do it just yet. But I feel like another one is... Is going to do it. But even though, you know, he wasn't able to get the stock there, was able to live at 170 for a very long time, which could go very far in this set. Yeah, great spot dodge from Melvin. And, and, and the hoo-ha. Yeah. He brought it back. <laughs> yeah, Remember he, all that talk about Smash dude, 4 on Twitter? I mean, exactly. He is a, this is a Smash 4 player. Nelvin, yeah. that was his baby. <laughs> um, oh, but who else played Smash 4? Jackal, Jackal. Too. I mean, D doing great at Shine. One of, New England true. event. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the Z drop. He's got the combos here. Nelvin, that was really nice. All right. He's making his way back. Only 30% between these two players. Oh my god, but oh. the backer's going to do it. He, he flew off the stage, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen stuff like that. Yeah. That was a very impressive back air there from Jackal. Just being like, I don't care if I trade with this because I'm at center stage and I'm sending you off stage. And all goes all the way over there. Impressive stuff from Jackal to move on to top eight. And we'll play the winner of uh, the next set we have. Or no, not the next set we have, but... The winner of Zombo and somebody else are on the next set we have is actually Light versus Leviathan. Yeah. So for those of you who do not know, Leviathan is actually the uh, artist formerly known as Nido Sharp. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is an official tag change. It's uh, an official one? It's an official one. I'm pretty sure. He was very adamant about that at uh, the last Mash Harder, a Boston regional. Okay. Um, so new a new era. And uh, Leviathan, very skilled uh, at very many different characters. I have seen like 13 different characters I can think of off the top of my head that I...